Channel Friday, Story Pipe News, Weekend Movie Picks. Number three, The Ant Bully. After Lucas Nickel floods an ant colony with his water gun, he's magically shrunken down to insect size and sentenced to hard labor in the ruins. This movie is just another one of those where I just think Hollywood has given up. Like they say, oh hey, we're gonna make an animated film. What do animated films have? They have talking animals and little boys as leads. And this has both, has a little boy as a lead and talking animals. Right? Rather than say, let's have a really good script and then determine which form of media is the best way to present it. Like, should we have it animated? Should it be live action? What should it be? Kind of like a Scanner Darkly, right? This movie that's coming out based on a Philip K. Dick book. And they said, if we animate it, it will enhance the story. That's not the case here. The case here is like, what kind of cutesy things do we put in animated films? Hmm, talking animals. That's cutesy. Number two, John Tucker must die. Three ex-girlfriends of serial cheaters set up their former lover to fall for the new girl in town so they can watch him get his heart broken. How dumb of a premise that. Oh, he's cheating on me. Let's set him up and then break his heart. This teaches really good values, doesn't it? It's good moral. Good moral movie. John Tucker must die. Is it anything like Heather's where they actually kill people? It's a dark, dark comedy like Heather's was, which was a classic and is a good film. I'm thinking this one's going to be stupid. And number one, Miami Vice Colin Farrell and Jamie Foxx's filming in Dominican Republic was suspended during October 2005 due to raucous behavior from the public and a shooting where the aggressor was injured. It's a really good job, aggressor, shooting and you're getting injured. You're the aggressor, right? You're sitting with a gun. <sighs> this movie looks terrible, but it is Michael Mann, and Michael Mann has made some good films, and he did develop Miami Vice, so I'm going to give him some slack. It still looks bad.